Hey guys, Gator Coach for Gators. Early week 11 match of the GPA against Wolf Glick VGC God and the Milwaukee Bill Bears. Uh, just a recap if you don't know what's going on in GPA, there's two weeks left. We are confirmed in the playoffs. Um, so our last two games are kind of just whatever. Now, we are still going to try in this one just because. Our, our our good friend it's not it's not daily reminder f chimpack it, you know it's no t-word 2018. Our, our good friend chimps like hey hey gator can you please win this game so i can make playoffs because uh wolfie is, is is a threat chimpack ain't safe but if we win this game i think chimpack's safe i think well unless he loses i actually don't remember how no how many wins does he have now is it seven yeah he has seven so if wolfie loses that means he can get maximum of six or something so what's he gonna do? Um, so me and Jim, you know, we, you know, we work a little bit together on teams. Time did. Uh, I, I think it's the same all. I, I'm so okay. I did. I didn't mention. It. I forgot to mention it at the very beginning. Uh, it's postcom again. Now, uh, I'm gonna get spoilery. The the battle took the whole time, so it's postcom again. It's it's it's. I don't want to put post like if if I posted the live com, which is me not talking for probably about 30 minutes of that time just because it's like there's there wasn't much to say then it's not gonna be as it's not it's gonna be like an hour 15 minutes long like fuck wi-fi holy shit can we just play like whatever um let's go to the team let's go oh shit this is this, this one uh yeah let's go let's go to the team uh this team will appear over here it's gonna be postcom. It's gonna be postcom Wi-Fi though, not postcom showdown at least. At least, but it's postcom Wi-Fi without the move animations. Like, who gives a shit about stuff like that? Like, whatever. Uh, just cause it'd be quicker, and I think I put on like 1.25 speed. Just so I don't want it to be too long a video. And I, but the more I rant, the more longer it's gonna be. We got a uh, Azu. Uh, we have no speed for Tango. That's max speed, not boosting nature. It actually doesn't outspeed. Max speed tank growth. I don't remember what the speed was for. Lol. So, there's some opportunities and like this, just play rough is nice against the team. Uh, you guys, this is Scarf Flygon only for Zerg Tree. That's it. I don't give a fuck if there's anything else on this team. Is there Zerg Tree? This thing can stay alive at all times in the game. Uh, standard moves up. You just have Crunch just because he has some, some ghost slash psychic type. It's, I don't think there's a better move. I could have put like Tailwind or something cool maybe. I don't know. Toxic, default. It, there's probably a better moving crunch. Um, whatever. Got the keys. Got a uh, dual screen and some spikes. So we just gonna, just gonna click buttons with keys. Uh, this is just my absol switching. It's just there's an absol. So when there's an absol, you gotta have something to beat the absol. That didn't make any sense. I mean, it made sense, but like it didn't need to be said. But yeah, there's that. We got this bat. Um, the bat is a it's like stall breaker ish bat ish thing um she got taunt and roost and then you turn it's crowbat it's it's like mainly there for like conk and other things that could potentially be an issue who just messaged me on discord uh we got altaria i thought i had it disabled yeah. every voice flamethrower roost con guard uh this is like one of our win cons so like there's some things that can burn me like jellicent or entei or something like that which means i don't get toxic which means i'm less concerned about Heal Bellin, so maybe they can just sit in the face of everything and attack and keep attacking until everything falls over. And then we got Heat Rant, it just rocks. It's, I think it's the same moveset I brought last. I don't remember. Um, but this is the team we're using uh, in this battle. I already actually recorded the postcom, so <laughs> this is, I'm actually doing the team. It's later, it's 10 13 p.m. on Sunday night. Like, I. What the fuck is this? Oh shit! <laughs> All right, let's let's go let's go to the battle. You're not gonna hear any of that because I think I muted the desktop audio. Oh, I muted the desktop. I'm a genius. I'm a fucking genius. All right, but I didn't mute the Discord audio. I muted the desktop audio on OBS. Yeah, whatever. Let's jump to the battle. All right, here's the actual battle. Uh, I'm putting on like 1.25 speed and there also won't be any Pokemon fucking animations like who actually gives a shit about damn animation um, but Yeah, 
he didn't bring Zerg Sheet and he didn't bring Absol. He brought like a Trick Room ish squad with the with the Zong, the the Jelly, the the Conk, all the goodies. Um, I could Flygon flap it at one point two five, not bad. Uh, I just leave Flygon. I just get the fuck out of there uh, and see what he wants to leave with. If he he left with this, I'm thinking it could be. I don't want to get burned. And he go, I know it's gonna be like Sash, Shuka, some. It's gonna be something where I just can't kill it. Um, and I have a pretty good switch in this in my Altaria, and I thought it was a good chance to get it Mega Ball pretty goddamn early, which is gonna be useful for later on. Ice Taser here, which is kind of scary. I didn't know what the hell that meant. Like, if he had Iron Head on this thing or something like that. But he just flies off uh, Sacred Fire, which is jack shit. And Hyper Voice actually does about. It does nothing. It doesn't do that much. It's a little chill. I'm max special attack modest in that thing. I feel like it should have done a little more. But he goes into the jelly here as I just roost it up. Just get back to full HP. And uh, this is where the problem begins. This Jellicent is a fucking problem. So I go into Keys. And I don't actually remember exactly why I went into keys now that I think about it. What did I think he was going to click there? I think I was scared of like Hex potentially. Or he's just going to get his rooms up. And I thought this would be a good chance to get just throw all my spikes up. Uh, but this thing actually has Taunt. And also has Acid Armor. So it's just sitting here. And this is really funny because me and Joey were talking about this when we were making the team. Because I originally I was just going to troll. Like semi-troll. Like I had a pretty troll team. And then I made like a real team because Chipat was like, Gator, Gator, gotta beat him. I want to make the playoffs, please, please, please be Wolfie. Good guy, good boy. Like, all right. And th this is that was this team. And then like after me and Joey were talking, or, and because, okay. So the idea was, uh, he was not, I, I thought that Max B Jelly was a huge break. And then, maybe I'll show some Discord log or some shit on this. I don't remember. I thought Max B Jelly be a huge, uh, it, it was like a must if he was going to bring this Pokemon. Um, because of my Azumarill, which would just win the game otherwise. Uh, so I was going to bring like some webs and a Mamo and stuff like that. Uh, and, but still with a couple taunters and shit. And I am facing against a maxi speed jelly and I just don't have the stuff. Cause I, I just went balls to the walls. Like, all right, all right, Chip. Like Chip approved of this team. He's like, he liked this one. Like, Hey dude, Hey, I, it's good. Like we don't care about max speed jealousy. It's not a Pokemon. And here it is being a Pokemon. And you're going to see it on the screen for a very, very long time. Um, which is why I'm doing this post comm because if the live comm was literally me talking for about 10 15 minutes and I just shut up and, and just got just 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 let it sit there for the rest of the game. Um, so my way of beating it is you've been paying attention is basically I get a screen up, I force him to taunt something that's not my crowbat by just um, well, like you'll see, like he taunts, I go for toxic. Um, like and then also at the same time, I'm like trying to pee stall him, so like he could double taunt here. But it's not the end of the world because like there's no rocks up or anything. But like, he didn't taunt, so it means I can taunt hit. <laughs> so he can't taunt my Tran. So the idea is to taunt him, so he can't taunt my Tran, and then Tran can toxic hit, which is dumb because if, if this, this originally this Crobat was a Floatzel, like a super bulky Floatzel with taunt toxic, the top pass, and uh, a water move. Because like dude, his only water is this was Tangrowth and Jelly. I could just toxic both of those. Uh, but unfortunately, my Crobat does not have toxic, which means I can't toxic that damn fish. Uh, so th this cycle happens like I think twice with the screen and whatnot and the first time he had a lumberry So the second time he just go into his conk and at this I could have like tried to get some rocks up or something But like we're playing on fucking Wi-Fi um, So I just like just get the damn Pokemon out of here like I, I Just I could I CBF dude like what the fuck so I have no switch into this like Gus Boosa facade is just coming my way Like I don't know what he was gonna click there Azu eats somehow Azu is useless, that's why I threw it in. Like, I expected it to actually die on that turn, but somehow I ate that. I don't know how the fuck that happened. Um, so I just click knockoff. I'm just like, I don't, this Azu doesn't do anything when his jealous is max speed with no item. And he also, as you see, his Tango switched out before my Azu. And my Azu outspeeds max speed Tango that's not timid, which means he's just fucking timid Tango. Uh, we knocked off the assault vest. Uh, Bronzong comes in. I have to U turn instead of taunt because I feel like psychic move on this thing is super likely since I have Crobat and Bustle. Um, and that's why he actually busts out the, the big psychic move. He just, he didn't give a fuck. And I need my Crobat because it's the only thing on the team that can quote 1v1 the Jellison. AKA the Jellison can't just win the game. It can't just sit there forever and do what it wants because I have a Crobat. And that's the only thing um, stopping the Jellison from doing whatever it wants is that Pokemon. Uh, so he gets his rocks up. And so what rocks means is that this whole switching nonsense with the light screen and then the, the Tran taking the Scald and forcing him to taunt that and then going to the Crobat. And taunting that, it just means it's so much harder because he got Stealth Rock up. Um, so, like, I'm scared of going to Crobat sometimes because, like, if he taunts the Crobat and it takes Rock's damage, I'm 
I got a U-turn. Can't can't really do much. Uh, so I hyper voiced because I I haven't I don't think I have I seen recover. I don't remember. I don't know if I see recover on this thing or not. But I need it to recover so that I can get the crowbat in. That's like my safest way of making sure crowbat's in without being taunted is to make him quick recover, um, which does happen. So he's gonna taunt him up. He's gonna go to scald. Uh, I'm playing this game, accepting the fact my crowbat will probably get burned because it's the thing that's switching in. It's taking scalds because I'm because he knows I'm clicking taunt. He knows I have to click taunt. Otherwise, I can't really do anything. So it's going to take a whole bunch of scalds. Uh, so I'm going to U-turn. Uh, I don't know why I went into this. Um, to be honest, I don't remember most of the game. <laughs> My I didn't even know I had to fucking reflect up. I just used to click fucking U-turn again. But that just means the Jellicent comes back in. So like, why do that? That didn't, that didn't, that didn't. But like, what What are my team? I guess Tran. I could have went Tran there. Tran, Tran might have been okay. Like, go Tran and maybe talk. It, it's scary, though, to click Toxic in front of a Tangrel, because, especially since it's a Salt Vest, because it probably has Earthquake. So, I don't know what I would have clicked there. Flamethrower. Eh, toss up. Uh, Crowbat's back in. Um, I taunt, and he actually quick taunt that time instead of Scald. Uh, I guess I had a Light Screen and a Reflect, though. My goodness. Uh, but we get we get back to full HP, and he just Scald, and eventually the burn comes. But, it, like, I'm not Brave Birding stuff with this thing. It's not, it's not, it's not Brave Birding shit. <laughs> It's, this thing is here to click taunt and only taunt. Um, so we get the fuck up out of there. You got to go back into the keys because we need to get the light screen back up. And unfortunately, he crits me on this turn, which means I can't get the light. I can get the light screen back up, but there's only so many times I can get the goddamn light screen back up. Um, at some point in the game, I was just considering, okay, can I PP stall all his taunts? Because I think he's used like I don't I don't know if he's used half, but he's used a good amount at this point. Um, so it's totally possible, I guess, on showdown if I can PP stall all his scalds uh not scalds his taunts but on wi-fi that's a completely different fucking story wi-fi is dumb dude i swear i swear wi-fi is so dumb like stuff that takes five million years on wi-fi it takes a couple minutes on showdown like why y'all need to see the pretty colors and stuff and the pokemon movement and using their goddamn attack what does that matter where's the, where the shoddy battle kids at where the net battle dudes at i just see the goddamn text all you need is the text uh, so I sacked my Azu. It's completely useless, but what sucks is that I sacked it, which means he's ahead of Pokemon. And I was scared to bring Tran in on the Zong because he showed Trick Room, Rocks, and a Psychic move. Um, so I didn't know if the last one was Earthquake or Gyro. So I didn't want to bring Tran in on that Zong right there. But now the Trick Room's up. I could have Flamethrower this for damage, but I don't really think it mattered because it wasn't going to do that much. Like it might have done like 40% or something like that, which isn't enough because um, he can just Drain Punch and get it all back. So he has conk, so I just like I'll just get rocks up. So he has conk under the trick room. And I'm just accepting the fact that it kill stuff. Uh, Flygon was mainly for Zergatry, and since he has the ten growth and the zong and all this bullshit, and Jellicent even eats hits, it's not gonna do much. Uh, so there's one turn left. I'm and I have to sack the keys. Like it's probably the I have I need to keep the right Pokemon alive to somehow win this game if he chokes, or like I kept the right Pokemon alive if we were playing on showdown. Like the Tran can be. Well, I don't know the stats, but he has a Forges and the Zong that doesn't have Earthquake. So I still have the Tran. Um, and it also, it's a Sacred Fire switch in. The Altaria can switch into the Entei relatively well. And um, the Conk goes down. I needed something to kill the Conk afterwards. So I couldn't sack the Altaria. And the Crobat, I 100% need for the Jellicent. Like a billion, a billion percent. Um, so he recovers here, which means I get to Roost, which is actually pretty nice. Because that means it can switch into the Entei a little better and stuff like that. I mean, it couldn't switch into anything. It's at 50 HP. And uh, he's, he goes for the taunt. I, I'm pretty sure he has half, maybe less than half taunts. I don't remember exactly how many. But he just taunted up. He just double taunted thing. I was going to switch or something to the crow. But I'm just, no. No. Just taunt up, dude. Like, he's, he's taunting up. He's taunting up. I'm taunting up. We're taunting up. Uh, so he's going to recover, which means I can get my crow bat in. And, like, I have the appropriate Pokemon because... Not to beat him, but to not lose, if that makes sense. Like, the, the Jellicent can't beat my Crobat. The Florges probably can't beat my Tran. Same thing, the Bronzong definitely can't beat my Tran. The Entei, it can't, I don't, it didn't show Iron Head earlier, as he crits me with another Scald. So, it can't really beat my Altaria. Um, I guess with pressure, Entei has a good chance of PP stalling a lot of my stuff. Um, but I still have two Taunters left. So if it's like rest, sleep, talk, Entei, it can't really do... Well, maybe the Crobat, because I'm assuming... Yeah, because the, the Entei can beat the Tran. 
So it's mainly the Bat. So I have like Bat plus Altaria for the Entei. I have Crobat for the Jellicent. I have Crobat, Tran, basically my whole team for the Tangrowth. Um, I have the Tran for the Forges and I have the Tran for the Bronzong. So I have all the Pokemon, I have all the tools left to not lose. <laughs> If that if that makes sense, I have the tools left. I, I'm sorry, I've eaten Sacred Fires and Stomping Tantrum. I'm like, eat up, eat up, Altaria, eat up. Um, see, the problem with not losing is you're not winning. You know, like just 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 think about that one. Just think about that. Um, and he shows the rest, which means it's probably Rest Shuckleberry because the way he stayed in turn one. Um, he shows the Forges for the first time. And this is where things get weird. I'm assuming all these plays he made at this point is for the sole purpose that there is no time left on the clock. Because there's probably like five minutes left or some shit at this point. Like maybe like six, seven minutes. Because um, he actually clicks default. Which I thought hazards were benefiting him a bajillion times more. Just because the Jelson and the other Pokemon were forcing me to switch every single time. Um, but since he clicked default, he can't like pressure stall me with rest. Because I can just switch around my Pokemon now. And then he lets me toxic his jelly. So, like, I don't think he does this if we're playing on Showdown and there's not five minutes left on the clock. Because this doesn't make sense. Um, but, like, five minutes left, like, who gives a fuck if your thing's poison? Uh, so he's talking about, I feel like he has, like, five taunts or something. He's used a bunch. Like, it's it's totally possible possible for me to PP stall his taunts. Um, uh, he goes in the Zonger. I don't remember what. There's Hyper Voice. He does Hyper Voice up. Does jack shit. Uh, does he get the rocks back up? Might get the rocks back up, throw them back up. But I have a Tran, which means I can just throw them back up too. So it's like rock for rock. Oh, he just gyro bolt. Never mind. All right, I'm bad. Uh, I think it's fire up a flamethrower. Cause like, just get get that boy out of there. Get him out. Goes an Entei. I think there's only one minute left on the clock. To be honest, at this point, I don't think there's that much time left. So it doesn't matter what I click. He has uh, so the conk was able to kill half my team, and I couldn't stop it from not killing half my team really. Um, I didn't really have the appropriate switches, especially if I tried to, like, I don't, I, I probably, like, I played like I was playing on Showdown at a certain point, but also at a certain point, I was just like, fuck this shit, like, the Jellison is just, it's too annoying. I, I, I would have ran if, um, ah, like, someone who ran early, like, Chipat ran, no, Joey ran against Envy, and Chipat ran against me, like, and, I know there's like, hey, don't run. Don't run in your battles. I would have totally ran from this battle super early. It, I'm still in the playoffs. Like, the second I saw the jelly, I was like, yep. I, I knew, I didn't I didn't know it was going to be acid armor. But I was expecting like Will-O-Wisp or Taunt. Yeah, I, I was expecting some of these moves. But like, I, I, was, I just didn't bring the team for expecting that. I went balls to the walls like, all right, dude. Like, me and Chimp, we're talking about it. Like, Chimp's, 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 trying, Chimp's trying to convince me it's not going to be Max B Jelly. I was thinking Max B Jelly 100%. Because I was I was talking with Joey about it. like he he needs to bring it if he doesn't want to lose like a BD Aussie. It has to be that. Um and like the team I had prepared like to actually do, which he thought Chip thought trolling was like uh webs with like Mamo and shit. Um uh, with still the taunters and still the BD Aussie. It was like, no, 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 no. You bring this. And I also had the, the my amazing float soul set. Like it was taunt toxic, but taunt pass liquidation or some shit, like super bulky. Cause like his only water is this, are the tangled and jelly. I can just toxic those, and I can't get burned cause water bill. So I thought I was like, yeah, dude, let's, let's bring some stuff. She's like, no, 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 you gotta gotta win. But I mean, hey, he brought something that beat me. I lost. Did I lose the game? I lost the game. Lost that lost the goddamn game. Um, so Wolfie still has playoff hopes. I think if Chimpak beats. Aster this week, he's in. I think the only the only person Wolfie has a chance to beat is if Chimpat loses against Aster, and the loser between uh, Monotony and Pokemon. Not me. Your boy, your boy is safe. We're safe. Uh, but yeah, I had to post comic. I didn't want the video to be over an hour long. It would have literally been like an hour fifteen minutes because the the battle video was like an hour five minutes, and then whatever the team builder would be. Uh, my screen just went black. Whatever. Uh, yeah. Uh, next week play Aster. I don't. I'm. We're waiting until playoffs, all right? We, we just, we're just not. We're just not going to fuck with the GBA until playoffs <laughs> come around. But yeah, like my video, great. Appreciate it. And it's going to see you guys next time.